Hi guys, Nadine here. This is Charlotte. Welcome to our channel. Well, my channel, but somebody's decided she doesn't need to nap unless I'm in bed with her. So, our channel right now. Uh, today I was wanting to share with you what I'm planning on reading for the Books in the Freezer readathon starting at the beginning of October. Uh, Books in the Freezer is a horror podcast. They're celebrating their one year anniversary. I'd highly recommend going and having a listen to them and um, especially if you are a fan of horror it's a really really good show um, but I will put a link down below uh, for the um, original video uh, by that's what she read um, so without further ado there are five prompts for this readathon uh, the first one was read a book by a female horror writer for this one I have chosen uh, give it me the Small Hand by Susan Hill. Um, it's obviously it's a ghost story. I've got this lovely edition here that I managed to pick up in a charity shop. Uh, I'll read a, a bit from the back for you. I stood in the grim, in the dim green lit clearing, and above my head a silver pairing of moon cradled the evening star. The birds had fallen silent. There was not the slightest stirring of the air, and as I stood, I felt a small hand creep into my right one as if a child had come up beside me in the dimness and taken hold of it. And uh, honestly, there is nothing creepier than children. Um, the second prompt was read an anthology or short story collection. For this, I have chosen The Wars by Jonathan Mabry, or well, edited by Jonathan Mabry. And um, it has lots of stories, a chronicle of the vampire wars, and it's got stories by different writers. Um, so we've got Nancy Holder, John Everson, Avon Navarro, uh, Scott Nicholson, James A. Moore, uh, Gregory Frost. Um, so that should be quite good. Uh, the third prompt was read a horror book by a person of colour or queer or about them. Um, this one I found quite difficult actually because I, I don't really know who's gay or, or not so it's not a factor when I pick my books um, the only person I could think who was open to go well two there was Clive Barker and Christopher Rice um, both of which I do have things on my Kindle that I've been meaning to read for a while but I just haven't got around to um, but I just didn't fancy at the moment so I had a quick google and I came up with this little beauty I'm really chuffed with this and it's The Daylight Gate by Jeanette Winterson. Google has reliably informed me that she's gay, so that, that fits. Um, but it is based around the Pendle Witches, which I just find really fascinating. And also I noticed Hammer, published by Hammer. Have they have they started a publishing house? Have they always had one? I just don't know. Um, yeah, there's another book in the back here by Helen Dunmore, The Green Coat. So that's definitely something to look into further for me. Um, but yeah, that sounds that sounds really good. Um, and the next one, read a horror book with a movie adaptation. I've got a few here, so I'm going to wait and see when I get to it what I feel like. But I've got Dracula, of course. I think quite a few people are going to be going for Dracula, and also that would fit in quite well with Victober, which I uh, I'm going to have a go at as well. There is The Girl With All The Gifts. I still haven't seen the movie of that because I've been waiting to read the book. I've got another Susan Hill, The Woman In Black. And then, I know it's not a movie adaptation, but it's me that's reading it, so that's fine. I've got The Fall, um, which is the second part in the Strain trilogy. Uh, I've been quite looking forward to reading this. I watched the first episode of The Strain and then decided I wanted to read the books first. And then it just takes me forever to get around to it so that might be going to the top of the list and then Charlotte has changed my page so I can't remember what the final prompt is or if that was indeed the final prompt ah no read something recommended on the podcast so for this I'm going to be reading something on my kindle if I get a chance to work out how to do the fancy editing thing and put a picture up there I will do um, but I'm choosing Margaret Atwood the edible woman I can't remember what it's about, but I remember um, hearing them talking about it. I think it was on their Canadian horror fiction um, show. Um, 
I think it's something to do with a woman who, when she gets engaged or when she gets married, she starts getting eaten away or, or something like that. But I remember it sounded really, really good, and I've been needing to read some more that word. Um, so yeah, very exciting. It's a two-week readathon. Normally, I read five or six books in a month, so it's kind of pushing me to do it in two weeks. Um, and also, like I said, I'm going to have a crack at Victober as well. And I will be posting a TBR for that shortly. But thank you very much for joining me today. And I will speak to you soon. If you've read any of these books or there's anything that you would recommend getting to quicker than others, do let me know in the comments down below. Let's have a chat. All right.